Okay, so as this is right now, it works. So all I should have to do is bring this split after this and then bring this split after and then suppress it. And that should work and be able to be what I need. So if I take the case and save that, yes, and I take the cover and save that, I don't know if, actually no, uh, the cover is going to be a little bit longer. Okay, now save it. Okay, the cover's longer because I just don't want to have to deal with like it accidentally slipping out or something. So yeah. Um, now I should be able to just print this. Oh, you know what, real quick, if, um, if the tolerance was iffy for the battery, I might want to make this a little bit, bit bigger. Um, I wish I could just make this longer. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Okay, we've got that is an issue. Just a little bit bigger. All right. And I'm not actually, I already uh, saved that, but I'm actually going to not save, okay, I'm going to save the project here, uh, but I already, I already, um, what did I already do? I already saved this without that change and I'm gonna go ahead and print that I'm only gonna print this new I'm gonna print this with the change that I just did if that other one doesn't doesn't fit so yeah now I'll go ahead and slice this and print it okay so if I open the case Okay, it has the hole in it, that's good. Put that there, center, and bring it all the frickin' way up. Okay, preview. Um, on the last part, I forgot to block this um, support here. So put that. And that. Okay, move this slightly further down so that it's just not in where the support is. Um, okay, an hour and 14 minutes, which makes sense. Um, you know, I might give it a little bit more infill because, uh, oh, that, <laughs> look at that. That explains why the ends 
had little holes in them. Look, we've got we've got an island there. That explains why this end and this end, when they were finally printed, when they got done printing, they uh were weren't the best quality and had holes in them. So let me let me actually in increase the infill to something a little bit more reasonable. A three. How about how's how's three gonna work? Uh five? Okay, and then how many bottom, how many, no, top layers are there? Four and four. It's a little low, but I mean, this should work. Like, it already is going to work. It's just going to be slightly better at filling it in. It's actually pretty astonishing that it, knowing... Knowing that that island is there on the inside there like that, it's actually pretty astonishing that it was able to fill it in as much as it did. Crazy. Um, oh, 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 okay. Move this inward. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save this to case file say let's see save to see user me desktop SD card backup miscellaneous AAA caliper battery adapter case okay good and then I'll print it uh, I forgot to print the cover uh, I don't need the case I can print the case and cover together uh, I'm gonna put it on this side wait the heck up and actually this one's not getting a brim it's getting a skirt Alright, save that as cover. Alright, now I will print it. I just realized I might as well Ooh, where was it? Was it this? Let me uh see something. Okay. Yeah, I might as well Um, print. Might as well slice this one on its own. Um, let's see. That one. Center it, and then it gets a brim. Alright, save that. As grip. Okay. Yeah, that way if I need to print an another one for any reason, I can just do that. Alright. There's that. Okay, so, uh, it's finicky when nothing is, you know, soldered in permanently yet. But, the whole thing is printed, it fits everything, and if I touch the wires to their respective terminals making sure that they don't touch each other making sure that they don't touch each other see numbers so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything soldered together and put it together. Um, the battery fits in here and can be 
taken out and put in easily. The uh, cover, the cover works just fine. And the cover is also how this thing stays on the calipers. And uh, it'll move with the calipers. So it's good, it's good, it works, it's good. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and solder these wires to aluminum foil and I will glue the aluminum foil to this here and get it, get it hooked up and I'll solder these to these. And then I will, and then it ought to work. Okay, so I got it all wired up and uh, it works. I can measure things. Uh, this, these uh, scissors are giving me a measurement of 2.94 millimeters width, which is a total of the two blades. Uh, this is, so I can switch to inches, I can switch back to millimeters, measure in millimeters. So yeah, it works. Um, the it is a lot tighter than it was than I had originally hoped. The uh, wire when I soldered it to this end of the foil was a lot thicker than I had anticipated, and so that adds a lot more tightness to this. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. I accidentally pulled this off during. Uh, after I had glued it in, but I managed to get it resoldered without damaging the plastic here by being very delicate. But uh, yeah, I can uh, do this. I can actually pull the battery out, but it does require tweezers to pry it. There they are. Because of how much tighter this is with the thing now. So uh, rather unfortunate there, but I can do that. But yeah. Oh goodness. Looks like my solder job isn't the best in here. I might fix that. But for now it's taped in. So yeah. Bad, bad solder there. Or is it bad solder there? I can... You know what? I'll go ahead and fix that now. Okay so um, I got this solder together and it technically works. But, uh, see, it works. But, um, the battery doesn't really fit in there too well because I kind of just did it wrong. So I printed a new one, and the battery does fit in this one properly. Once I actually get it, this piece I needed to rearrange slightly, so I just gotta get that in there. Uh, but,. But, it does go in properly this, on this one, and it can make a connection, if I, it can connect, prop, it can connect, uh, it's hard to get it good at this angle, but uh, I'm going to try. That there and this there. Okay, I've got this propped up so I can put this one on this side, hold this together, put this one on this side, nothing's touching, it, it works, trust me, <laughs> it works, um, but I'm going to splice this one 
onto here. I'm going to cut here and I'm not going to resolder this. I'm just going to splice the wires together. Okay, so I don't know why, but I suddenly can't get wires to work on this. So I'm going to go back to taping aluminum foil. Um, so I'm going to redesign it so that I can slip some aluminum foil straight through this end and this end. And I should be able to tape aluminum foil somewhat securely to this. Because the, the, um, the points where it breaks are here mostly. Because it's not moving much here. So I'm going to have to do that. Um, but it does technically work at this point again but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it more secure because I'm gonna try to make it more secure because you give it a jiggle and it's gonna it's gonna turn off so yeah I'm gonna have to redesign this this thing again